All right, good morning everybody. It's your boy Akeen and welcome to today's last vlog. Here to give you one more scout report for today on a player headed towards the 2016 NFL Draft. For this vlog, I'm here to talk about a sleeper at the defensive tackle position and a player from Canada. Talking about David Onyemata out of um, Mata, um, Manitoba um, University. He was a bison and he had a pretty decent season, a good career for the past four years. Now he's actually hailing from Nigeria. Nigeria and he never played football until he moved to Winnipeg to play for the Bison and in this past season in 2015 he had 50 tackles and five forced fumbles this past year and he definitely reminds me of Hakeem Nix of Hicks of, from the um, New Orleans Saints and he too was on from Canada as well and I have to give a shout out for Hicks I had showed a little bit of disrespect a couple of years ago I use him as a my April Fool's joke for the 2016 NFL Draft, and he turned out to be a pretty good player, and I think this could be the same for David as well. Now, let's talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First, his strengths, he definitely has a good size at 6'3", 310 pounds. Definitely good size, and I like the fact that he uses his hands effectively. Now, I definitely did a pretty good job in the East West Shrine game, showed his ability to perform well. He does run a 5 flat 40, which is a great time for the defensive tackle to play. Now he did is coming from Canada so that is one of his weaknesses some people are concerned the level of competition but I think this is going to be a good catch like Hakeem next. Like I said, he's from Canada as well. And I think we've seen um, pretty good players coming from Canada. And let's not forget about Cameron Wake. He started his career for um, at the Canadian Football League before vaulting down and becoming a star for the Miami Dolphins. So we can still see some good talent from pretty much anywhere. And this could be another great sleeper. Now, uh, I've mentioned that, that one weakness as far as his level of competition. Now, he still needs to have a little bit more experience as well in trying to use different moves at the line of scrimmage to evade and shed off blockers and even be a good stuffer at that line. I think he has the capability of doing so. I believe that he's going to start off his career more as a backup, but then work his way to become a solid starter. I just, I, I don't really see him like a big time NFL star, but he has the capability of doing so. He could, could sleep, uh, sleep his way through and surprise everybody, but I think that he could become a solid pick of the sixth round of this year's draft. Now, that wraps things up for today. The next I'm going to catch you guys will be on Sunday where I'm actually going to start giving you my picks of the first round for the 2016 NFL Draft. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.